all right we have all the pieces blocked out that took me around uh, 40 minutes or so and after that we're gonna go ahead and do some smaller panels to give you more detail now you can see down the way in that previous video with the fast forward I did actually change the design a little bit too because you know sometimes when I look at my model I'm thinking like ah, do I want this or not and do I want something else so I change the design sometimes <laughs> uh, anyway you probably don't want to do that if you're really uh, having a concept already uh, but you know I'm not doing this for anyone else so this is my own thing so I can, I can change the design change the design if I want <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go ahead and do some smaller panels let's say I want to have some uh, you know little panel here maybe on the top of this guy right so I'm gonna duplicate this guy and for the new one I'm gonna control shift and click on the top part I'm gonna do a delay hidden so I can have this part isolated and then I'm gonna use the slice, uh, slice curve to slice out the shape of the panel I want to create So maybe something like this going towards the front just doing half of it so I can do mirror and while to mirror it and so I have that okay anyway this is a little panel I want to create I'm gonna do delay hidden maybe a little circle here in the middle so I'm gonna go uh, slice curve with a circle here shift and drag that out and then also delay hidden on that part again then zero measure it with the same poly count should be good turn on symmetry when you're doing zero measure so that it's symmetrical right. and use the same and do it multiple times until it's figuring out a really good topology for it and then I'm gonna go use this panel loop thing to create the thickness now the panel loop have some downsides like it's polishing things I'm gonna turn off that I just need two loops and maybe not that much bevel either and let me have a bigger thickness uh, sometimes it doesn't really do a good job here I guess it's because of my model is actually having some trouble here I'm gonna draw, go uh, use the uh, uh, move to move them really close to each other and then I do a mirror and wild so that should fix the problem or not I'm gonna do this little trick here under this geometry, multiple topology. There is a merge or well points, drag the distance to something a little bit higher. A little bit higher than that. Okay, until it's able to merge those guys. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do panel loop again. As you can see it pops out nicely. And that's maybe too big. <laughs> Sickness can go a little lower. Okay, that's the panel I want. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do a edge loop to make some of the shapes sharper. You can use slice curve to slice out very complicated shapes and use that to create panels. Now control click when I'm using move and scale this guy up or inflate this guy up. Okay, just wanted to make this more straight. You know, I don't quite like this. Uh, this bevel here, I'm gonna go for delete edge loop complete to delete that uh, edge loop I created. I'm gonna use extrude poly loop to drag this guy out. And I'm gonna delete this guy in the middle. So that gives me the steeper bevel. Yeah. So some fancy techniques uh, that you can use. Now the reason I don't just push it out using this is because that's going to destroy some of the sharp edges on the corner as you can see the corner loses its sharpness when you extrude it out uh, with shift as you can see but if I just extrude it out without shifting and delete that line this is still maintained as a sharp edge like that anyway so now I have one more little panel here created over there and maybe for the this part on the back I can also do another panel going a little bit differently so you can keep adding those cool details now right. so I'm going to duplicate this model again those are the secondary panels that's one more pass I will go for uh, delete hidden again 
the, the way I isolate those two groups together is control shift and click on any sharp point it's gonna give me uh, you know uh, two groups isolated so let's see I kinda want a uh, let's change my stats curve back maybe I want a, a, a panel like mm, just made it maybe a little gap here Did it hidden? Actually, before I do that, uh, I need to maybe cut a little bit more. So maybe all the way to here. Maybe rotate a little bit and rotate back. Do mirror and wild to have the other side, and then I can just shift and double click on the ones I don't want. Do it. Did it hidden? Did it measure? A little dense over there, so the measure is a little slow, but as you can see, um, as I'm gonna basically go through this process to have secondary panels uh, because the, the original block out is good, but it's not very good, I guess. So, I'm gonna go, I need more details, so that's why I do this. I'm actually, just gonna need a really simple geometry. I should have done this actually uh, earlier. To make this guy just really simple to start with, as you can see, um, whoops! I'm gonna shift and click on this guy. I'm gonna do delay hit. I have something on the back. <laughs> you can see this workflow is, um, you know, I, I really enjoy this workflow, so that I can use some sort of like half hard surface, half zebra sculpting way to, you know, uh, create my shape. This time I'm gonna also use panel loop. But you know, sometimes I just go for extrude out polygons, do it myself, do it a little bit, extrude out a little bit of thickness, and extrude out. Again, let's change the target to uh, polygroup all a little bit, a little bit more, and then go the poly loop and extrude out there, and then do my own delete here. And that's how I do all this. You know, if I'm gonna do this panel loop thing. Instead of tweaking parameter there, I can manually do it. It's more visually easy to control, I guess. And I can manually also cut the bevel myself. I mean, tighten the bevel myself. Right. So I have another piece here. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do maybe for this middle piece, uh, I kind of wanted to have a little bevel here. Because this is a data mesh. Right, I'm gonna dynamesh it with higher resolution, 512, and dynamesh it. And I'm gonna go for the clip curve. Now clip out this part to create a little bevel over here. And I'm missing something over here. Oh, I just mirror it. And yeah, fix that. So just click that. And I mesh it, use edge polish to polish this. Have a cool bevel over there. So that the combination would look better. You can keep designing and thinking about what you want and ends up with you know a different shape if you wanted to. Um, so you can design whatever you want with Z brush. Uh, hard surface workflows. It's really, I think it's really good. Anyway, so now we have this little bevel here. And what's, what else do I need? Mm. Maybe I want something here on the back. Maybe we can add those things like later on. But um, there's a technique called lab boolean which we will visit later on, and that can be useful on some of the smaller circles like that. That we can actually use that boolean to do the, do the thing. Um, but yeah, there are just many options now. Um, so let's say maybe I, I want a little panel over here, I guess. So I'm going to do that. Duplicate my model. And I'm going to use Slash Curve. Control W to give them a simple group. And I can Slash Curve it. So I need a little panel going this way.
Alright. I'm gonna do mirror, mirror and wild to get its mirrors. Cut a shift and click on this guy, delay hidden. I want to cut that out, so slice that out. Mirror, mirror and wild again to mirror it. Cut a shift and click on this guy and do delay hidden. And do the same thing on this guy. Oops. I have to do delay hidden here. And then uh, delete hidden. Anyway, I'm gonna zero measure it. So that's my workflow, right? You for smaller panels and things like that. It's too low, maybe higher than that. And then I can use the same and zero measure it multiple times so that I can figure out a better topology for this guy. And this time maybe I can just do a cheap panel loop here. Oh, something's wrong here. I'm gonna do a auto group. To shift and click on the middle part and then delay hidden. That's what that way I can guarantee that I just have this piece. Have some more thickness and panel loop it out, and that's my other piece. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a edge loop here. Uh, if you're beginners, you are a beginner, it may be a little bit confusing on those tools because I never really explained this in this theory. This is meant for my uh to track classes, so they know they know this already. But panel loop is underneath the uh, edge loop, panel loop, and yeah, here. let's say custom UI. Anyway, another piece being created. I like this fluid line here, which is cool, right? What else? Um, you know, I'm gonna again go in the next tutorial, go through the process of creating secondary panels uh, across the model. And it's going to be again a fast forward like, like last one and then we're going to move ahead and use more labeling techniques to populate really tiny details okay see you next time